Good morning, curling fans. Welcome into another session of curling here on Curtia TV. Oh, Curtia TV 2 this morning. I am John. I am your host. We've been flying solo. Normally, my partner Pim is here alongside me, but he is in Denmark playing at a tournament in Silkeborg. So, hope he is enjoying himself out there. Back here in Belgium, we are having an international matchup today. We have uh, Kek Köln against Den Schubkes, Germany against the Netherlands. Of course, we're doing it in Belgium because why not? But hey, you know, that is the makeup of the Belgian League. We've got teams from six different countries. So sometimes you get the matchups that don't include a Belgian team. Hey, it is the way it is. So... You know, let's. Uh, we've got a couple of teams. You know, we haven't seen Dunstrupka as much this this season. They're playing. They've played only two matches. Uh, Ket Köln has been in here for a weekend. They've played three, so they're going to finish their final four matches uh, this this weekend. Uh, Dunstrupka, I believe, is going to be catching up as well this weekend and next. The Netherlands a little bit closer than uh, than Cologne, although not too much difference. But they, it's a little bit easier for them to get down here whenever they want to. So. You know, let's take a look. They're already in their warm-up phases. Let's take a look at the standings. We can see how much this is gonna, how much this weekend is gonna be impacted. You know, so we can see Stain Good sitting there, top of the top of the table, six points from five matches. They started out very strong, winning their first three, but then they've dropped their last two. So they're going to look to try to finish the season strong, win their last couple of matches, hopefully hold off these other teams. But we can see Dunshrubka's Ket Köln. You know, they're right there, second and third. The Shropkins has only played two. They've won them both, so they're sitting strong with four points. Ket Köln, a win, a draw, and a loss. So they've got some ground to make up, but still right there right there in it. Other teams here this weekend, Team Reese from south of England. They're playing uh, this morning as well. No, they're playing later this afternoon. But they've also got a couple of matches tomorrow as well to try to finish up. They also three one and one, you know, they have that draw against Keck Köln, so they're going to have to try to uh, win these matches as well. Try to move up ahead, hope for a little bit of help. Uh, Blue Huskies coming in two ma two games played so far, one win, one loss. They beat Stain Good, um, and they lost, I believe, to the Yellow Brick Daltons. So beat the top of the t league table table team lose to one of the ones at the bottom, but they've still got a lot of matches to go. They're still very much in contention as well. Uh, and then we have the Yellow Brick Daltons. They've been in every match. They've really been sitting tight, unfortunately, only coming away with those, that one win. They still have uh, one match left to play. Hopefully, they're going to just play for uh, playing for pride. Hopefully, they can still win something, stay up out of the relegation zone. That's those bottom two teams get relegated down to C, where the top two teams from the C division get promoted to A. Uh, the top two teams in B get promoted, or sorry, top two teams in C get promoted to B. Top two teams from B get promoted to A. So even if you're not playing for the win, you're still playing to finish in the top two in this league. And right now we've got a lot of teams sitting there right in, right in tight for that, uh, that second spot. The Luxembourg team, Letzeburg, down at the bottom, they're the wild card. We don't know anything about them. They're going to start playing their matches this weekend. I think they play later this afternoon. Yep, they start playing at 2 o'clock this afternoon. They've got two matches today. They've got a couple matches tomorrow. So, and I think some next week as well. So they're going to be, you know, they're the, the wild card. We don't know anything about them. We haven't seen them yet this season. So things can, uh, things can change. But we're going to focus today, this morning, on Dunshrubka's and Ket Köln. This is a big placement matchup here. Winner of this, if Shrubka's wins, they're going to be up the top of the table. Uh, Ket Köln will be up there as well, so this is going to be definitely an important tiebreaker match. Uh, really excited to see this. You know, we had, uh, no, we had an A-League match last night, so that doesn't affect these standings, so we're not going to worry about that. You know, the schedule for the weekend... I don't have the graphics, so we're going to come back over here. So we've got uh, today, Cologne against Luxembourg later. We have uh, Don Schrobkes against Team Reese, a team from England, coming in later. And then we have Staying Good against Luxembourg coming in this evening. So lots of matches still to be played today. Tomorrow as well, we've got Huskies against Team Reese. That will be an important matchup. Right now, I think everything that's going to be for Team B is going to be important. There's a lot of teams still in the mix, still looking for uh, chances to move up, get into those that, that promotion zone, stay out of the relegation zone. So still a lot to play for here. Then we've got uh, Team Reese will play a second match against Luxembourg. 
uh, tomorrow afternoon, and then we'll have uh, the Blue Huskies against Keck Cone. So these are just the matches in the B League that are going to be played uh, this weekend. So that's going to affect how this going to affect the standings tomorrow. The schedule it's a super Sunday. Flying solo. I'll be flying solo on three matches, three broadcasts. We start out at 10 a.m. with the Huskies against Team Reese. Uh, following that up at 2 p.m. with uh, Ramstein against Jakob Juk, a C-League uh, league matchup. One of our teams from Germany against uh, Ramstein here from Belgium. Ramstein, they've been a bit of, uh, you know, we haven't seen them at all this season. They've had they've had an injury problem, so they've had to delay a few of their matches till the end, towards the end of the season to get some uh, some people healthy. And then finally, the 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 the, uh, the main course, the entree, if you will. Team Vareke against Desperate Housekeepers, an A-League matchup that could define, decide the winner of the uh, of the, the spring rounds. Team Vareke undefeated through five matches. They'll be playing Glass Oak Rangers later today, and they'll be playing Desperate Housekeepers tomorrow. That one could go into uh, could could decide the winner of the A-League. Uh, you know, Team Vareke's really got a good chance. Desperate Housekeepers and Glass Oak Rangers played to a draw last night. So that's going to make that match even more important. I can see, I'm just taking a quick peek out on the ice. They are doing some measuring of the LSDs. So that means there's one more shot to go. Maybe we can uh, poke out there and take a look at this final LSD coming in. Let's take a look. Uh, we'll go to that camera. So we use these, those of you unfamiliar, we use these LSD to last shot draw. Each team throws one stone from clockwise direction and counterclockwise direction. We measure closest to the center and whichever team is has the closest total points, uh, total distance is uh, better. So this is not the alternate, this is Bart. <laughs> they skip from Dontrobka's, throwing his his stone. Watch this one come in. Want this one to stop right. It's going to slide past a little bit, but still a fairly good stone. That's going to be less than uh, 50 centimeters. So a little fist bump there. We can see the measurement. So this is going to determine who has shot. And I didn't see any of the other measurements, so we'll we'll find out. So this will be who has hammer, not shot. This is who has hammer. So teams are ready, getting everything in in order. Handshakes to start things out, and all right. So Don Shrubkas will have the hammer. You see the red stone already in place. So Cologne will be there. Let's get this. Oops. There we go, make sure everything's in order. We're set to go. Anna getting things ready. Jonas wandering down, getting uh, set. So starting things off here in the first end will be Anna for Kek Gold. I will try to say that is my best German accent, but I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Our match is officially underway. have an A-League match going on on sheet A between n Negatine and Glass Oak Rangers. So we'll try to uh, keep you guys up to date on that. Oops, and I forgot to advance the scoreboard.
So the first of two Wouters on this Don Schrumpkes team, Wouter K, Wouter K. Going for the corner guard here. This one's coming in a little bit deep. Oops, this camera. But this one's going to hang out above the T-line, so not going to go after this just yet. Getting the correct flashing stone. This one's coming around nicely. Need to get this one a little bit deeper. Actually, this one's gonna come up a little bit short. Not gonna have that room to curl. Might just be biting that uh, the house. Bart taking a look at it. It's very close from this angle. It looks like it's not, but it's definitely more about what happens overhead than, uh, than in it, so. Can't quite be certain. <laughs> Alistair, good morning. Welcome in. The Cologne supporter. Good to have you in here this fine Saturday morning. This one's curling over, might over curl a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna leave that back stone about half exposed. So, decision time for Jonas. Oh, and I do have the skips mic'd up, so let me get these guys microphoned up. So many buttons to press. I really miss Pim when, uh, <laughs> when he's not here and I'm having to do all this solo. I am pressing a million buttons. Sweep the line. Gets the hit. Roll doesn't quite get over as far as they needed to, so this one's sitting out in the open. It's going to take me a few minutes to get uh, up to speed with the cameras and all the buttons. Gets the hit, but shooter rolls out. Ah, good morning, Tim. Good to have you in here as well. Always good to see you. All the fans coming in for Cologne this morning. Good to have you in here. Hang on. Yeah. Robert. Robert Abstein. Ball for Cologne. Whoa. Nicht so schnell. Whoa, whoa. Nicht so schnell. Äh, ist nicht so langsam. Sorry. Ja, alles gut. Verquatsch. Trying to find an angle where nobody is standing in front of it. This one actually going to get swept through to the back. Still in play, but is it something that they're going to want to chase? Not likely. Oops, swap the cameras. Nice more, lane length. Okay, least of fear. Looks good, just kind of sweeping this one. Okay, I like Martin a lot. This one, unfortunately, is going to be a bit on the deeper side. Well, it sits better than uh, the other, so not quite, uh, not quite buried. 
Looking for a hacker to try to get rid of this one, possibly roll it over. It's starting to fall hard. So I'm going to get around that guard. Just ticks the guard. And that one is going to fall through, roll through. Sophia. So something for uh, Bart now to take advantage of, trying to get this one around behind those red guards. Get something in place, and Shropka is looking to build stuff up. Nice, best boy. Clean, yep. Yep, yep. Go. Lane Mine looks good. Unfortunately, this one's going to be a little bit, a little bit on the heavy side. That one is going to go through. Lion was okay, but I think, yeah, if it's a little bit slower, that doesn't end up in the right spot. So. Give you a touch more ice. Robert with his flowing golden locks. They're a fan favorite the last time they were on here. Nick Kick Golden was here on the broadcast. Gets the hit. Is it gonna roll over and sit in the house? Very nice stone. Well well protected behind those guards. Obviously deep on the deep side, but right now. Cologne sitting two or three in the house. We don't know about that that stone at the uh, at the top. Nice good. The second of our uh, Walters from Keck Cold. Uh, good morning, Felipe. Another Cole fan and a, a fan of Robert's hair. <laughs> this one coming up just a little bit light. It's going to leave that uh, kind of block things off for coming up the center. Yeah, let's do it. Jonas looking at the options he's got. They've got a tap, they can play a guard. We need it, I would say, right here. It doesn't curl that much. And maybe give touch more. Oh, yeah, well, it's enough. If you hit it thin, it's always money in. Jonas feels like the ice isn't yeah, curling that much, so. Just going with okay. T-line weight, going to try to get this one, tap that outer outer side of the red, get that one a little bit deeper buried under cover. Jonas's first stone of the morning. Oh, feels light. Robert's coming out to help sweep. Just need to get a little bit of a tap here. Oh, that's fantastic. Great, great job by the sweepers. Really like that one. That's going to be a tough spot for... Uh, Tough spot for Bart. Now there's, it looks like there can be a double set up there. Looks like they're gonna try to uh, draw in behind. They don't have anything in the house yet. So looking to try to draw behind that still room to get to the 
Still room to get to the to the button. So that's what they're that's what they're looking at here. Bart indicating it might be a little bit heavy. Sweepers are staying off of this right now. It's going to easily get around the guards, but yeah, this one looks heavy. We're trying to sweep that one. Who ticks it out and stays biting on that back, back edge, but still three red stones in closer, so... I think it's fine. Yeah. Was hatte ich gerade für eine Zeit? Okay, jetzt viel Gewicht. See if Jonas can figure out where. Try to keep this gonna try to steal three, possibly four. Let's see what kind of. Uh, I think they're gonna try to guard that line over there, cover up the gap. Yeah. Okay, also noch mal ein Tick langsamer. Ja, ja, einfach eine Guard in die Mitte da rein, dass er nicht den Door hat. Rubber just peeking in there on the <laughs> on the split screen. A little heavy sweeper staying off of this one. This one's gonna come down into deep then deep, or unfortunately it's not gonna split that red. This one's gonna end up Oh, above the T, so this is going to be an opportunity. Just a, just a nose hit yeah, is good. Point hack, wait. Yeah. Snape, yeah. precise. Yeah. You know what I need? You know what I Tim wouldn't yeah. hate a split Point on that front red there. Yeah. Blocked the draw path to yeah, force him to draw against. Yeah, that would have been a really good shot right there. That would have been a really, uh, really tough one. Tough one to defend. Yeah, call him Hackway, just net each other like net for the. So, open hit. Hit for one here. I'm mean, not a bad result for a Cologne if they manage to do get this force to one. That's what you always want to do when you do not have the hammer. Sweepers like this one, just doing a little bit of cleaning. This one's going to hit, it's going to roll over. How much is it going to roll? Oh, it rolls too far, and it's a steal of one for Cologne. Though so not the big steal that uh, Cologne was looking for, but a steal nonetheless, and you can't really fault them for, uh, for that. Good, good end by Cologne. They really kind of kept in control. And so they walk away with a one. Harder to watch than playing yourself. Thanks for bringing the stream. Well, I appreciate the kind words. Yeah, it is. I agree that with that too. It's, it's, it's always harder to watch because you have no control over anything. So... Anna is going to be leading things off here in end number two. As Cologne Kekul takes a 1-0 lead over Dunshropkas. And let me get the too many buttons to press and levers to pull, but we'll get there. It's going to be on the high side, getting it over the hog. Skip sweeping. We love to see that. Curls over and gets onto that center line. So the no tick rule is in play now. For those of you unaware, any stone on that center line cannot be moved off that center line until five stones have been played. 
the if it is moved off the line, it can be moved anywhere on the line. But if it is moved off the line, the opposing skip has the option of where it can go. So the team who owns a stone has the option of whether to play it back and take the other stone out or leave things as it, as it lies. This one's going to just trickle into the house. Yeah, I think it's watching it on the, on a stream or on TV is a little bit easier than being here in the in the rink and not being able to do anything. Trying to get this one. It's a little bit wide. This one's gonna get into the house. Unfortunately, going to stay outside of cover. Does trickle behind the T line, so. But I think that's still maybe three quarter of a stone behind the T line. So this Bart's going to say, "Let's get after this." Okay. We'll hack weight hit and roll from Walter K. I'm with fear. Get line out. Out. Trying to make out sure line. this one out. hard for lines. Got to get around this guard. Sneaks past the guard. but just a little bit deep and over curls, so missing the redstone there. So opportunity, opportunity for Cologne to get something in here. Now maybe some of you for fa uh, Cologne fans can help me out here. Is it Simone or Simon? <laughs> I forgot to ask before the match. This one's going to be a little bit wide. Going to tap on the red and I believe that pushes it. Yeah, pushes that to second shot, so or third shot. <laughs> Good morning, Hemo. <laughs> Good to see you in here, brother. Lane length. The line's perfect. Okay. Likes bar likes the weight, likes the line. Going to tap, unfortunately, on the outside. And ooh, that's actually not a great great finish for for that stone because now it's locked frozen up against that yellow. Their own Shrubka stone is holding the red in place so that's going to be a difficult one to get rid of cologne opting for getting this going to use these to their advantage try to put some uh, something on top of it simon thank you atomsky just making sure as an american i'm well aware of butchering that i butcher european names so I usually try to ask, but this morning being alone, I one of the things that just kind of missed on my list of things to do. This one also staying outside. It's gonna just clip off the edge and kind of run outside. So.
<laughs> Alistair thing, yeah. I call him Simon the English way, but a German E is like an like an I is like an E. Yeah, that's that's why I'm always asking. It's like because I know the the differences. This one also staying a bit wide. And it's going to be a little bit deep, swept it a little bit too much, and so that's going to come in. But that's sitting third shot, I believe. So, but nobody seems to want to claim that uh, that spot on the button. Everybody's just being a little bit outside. They want to get this one on top. And the S is more like a Z. Okay, that one will be difficult for me to, to remember. To remember to pronounce it that way. I can remember it, but it's always okay. good to be more of a soft S. No oh, this one's wide. The sweepers are kind of waving it, waving their hands. Not going to touch this one. It's also a bit heavy. So it is going to tap on that yellow back there kind of moves things around but doesn't significantly change the position of anything <laughs> <laughs> neither team wanting that pin it's there for the taking they just got to get this draw around but we've seen the line everybody just being a little bit wide a little bit heavy you know these early ends it's always a little trickier to uh to get the weights right, get the lines right. Nine minutes of warm up in the more uh, just before the match starts is never hard. enough. Is he hard? I like it hard, Namlik. I like back eight or so. This one a little bit on the wide side as well, and this one's also going to go back behind the T line. Again, nobody wants the pin. Is there some sort of magnet, anti anti stone magnet there? Oops. Robert with his second chance had to ask you for less ice. Somebody has to find the weight in the line. This, this one is tighter, a little bit heavy, but I think this is gonna crash onto the guard. Yep, there it goes, gonna split it open. And again, nobody wants that, that pin, but now it's wide open in the middle, so. Uh, Let's see what Bart and the the Shrubkas can do. Thank like you. Zemon. Nog steeds. We kunnen ook proberen hier een hit op te spelen. Yeah, Tim, I've heard. Heard people say it, pronounce it like that, but I've also been corrected before when I tried to pronounce it in the German way for a German speaker, and they say, "No, it's Simon or it's Simon or if it's, it's one of those names that they could pronounce like a people can pronounce a million different ways." And it really just depends on what the parents felt like, how the parents felt like pronouncing it when they decided to name them. <laughs> so no pesky guard in the center to worry about. So a little bit outside, I heard him say. So they're just wanting to try to get this one down. This one's going to tuck in. And very nice stone there. I like that positioning. However, now it's sitting behind the T, so there is a... Oh, he accidentally touched it. I don't know if he moved it that much, but... <laughs> but yeah, Yellowstone sitting behind the T line. I've got the replay up. There, yeah, they kind of moved it back a little bit. He did move it, but like fractionally 
So, but if they decide to keep it where it is. So, they don't want anything too heavy here, but they do have backing, so they need to make sure that it does get up onto that yellow. It's very light, not going to quite get down there. I'm going to come up just in front of the house. So that's a big opening here for for Bart and Dunshupkas so they can just come in. They're already sitting shot, so they don't need to worry about getting it down onto the pin. They can see them saying, hey, anything even a little bit short is fine. Take away that draw path. So they do have the hammer, so they'd be able to tap it back later to try to get something to, to score on it. Yeah, they're discussing, for those of you non-Dutch speakers out there, and let's see if I understand it correctly, they're discussing the weight, you know, where they want this to miss if it doesn't hit on the, t if it's not right there on the button, where they want this one to go. A little bit, they just want this one in the house. A little bit short is okay, but should be in the house. Now, most of the draws have been from the other side, so this one is a bit wider. Weight was really good. It's going to come right down onto the T-line just a little bit past, but unfortunately now it creates a pocket. A little bit of extra weight there, so. But I think we have the pocket now. We play. If you're going nose, it's perfect. But if you go in between, it's also fine. I think you can do then more than one. I think we need to touch more. I don't want to hit the... If you're going right here, no, I think it's fine. Be fair. It's going more on this side. So a bit of a discussion on how much ice to, uh, ice to give, what they want their miss to be, where they want this, so... They want to get this over to the nose of that yellow sitting shot in the button, but if they're a little bit wide, it's also okay. It would be a nice force to one. But they also have to make sure that it's not too heavy so it doesn't remove that yellow one as backing. Ah, okay. Going for the sweep. Nein. Look at the line, please. Nein. Looking for line. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not that slow. Whoa. Not oh, that no, slow. No. It's going to come in. Oh, gets the it's hit and rolled over it. onto the pin. Yeah, it was fine. They are sh very, very nice stone. This one's kind of locked in, but I think they can get it to the nose. I, there's an option here for, for Shrubkas to possibly still score. They just need to get onto the inside edge of the nose. Yeah, come around here, tap this one away. Hopefully the shooter sits over here. If it taps on this red, yellow, this red one could go back a little bit. And so could be a potential for three scoring there. Yeah, they're just going to throw hack weight. So nothing too heavy, but just want to get this 
red one out of the way. That's the first. That's the most important part. Yeah, it's how does he crop it? Yeah, do my do my dead eye. It's okay. That's how you can ball hack. I think there. I think there is Tim. I think that's what they're looking at. I think if they catch this this red one just on the inside it'll tap this yellow and that red could go back this will go there and then I think the shooter kind of comes and sits somewhere there so I think there's three there but it just depends on how much this this lockup right there how much is that going to move that yellow Oh, gosh, I am on the wrong this camera. There we go. Oh, unfortunately, catches it on the outside. And so jams the red. Red is sitting on the pin. So that is going to be another steal for Kekkun. Good effort there from... Bart just staying on that outside. That was always a tricky part to find the... Oops, I never put it into in play. So there we go. Now we go back to the ends. And there we have it. So really good end there from Cologne. Getting a very nice stone there from uh, Jonas at his last... Gets that little hit and roll over onto the pin. And so another steal. So as we head into the third, Cologne leads 2-0 to zero over Dunshropka's. Very tight match. Every end's coming down to, uh, down to it. Anna starting things off here in the third for Cologne. Looking for a guard to set, set the mood. A little bit on the lighter side, maybe a little bit outside. Is this going to get back to that center line? I'm not so sure. It's starting to curl. Sweepers are trying to pull this one as deep as they can to let it a chance to get over to that center line. And comes up just a bit short. Going to be going over to the corner on this one. Is it in? Do that my ear. As it in is not to fear. Don't want this one coming in, but it's not the worst thing in the world if it is. This one's sailing out oh, wide. That one's going to sit right in front of the house nicely for a corner guard. Uh, Keck means Kölner Ice Club, yeah. So I'm saying Kölner Ice Club Köln. <laughs> it's like saying ATM machine. <laughs> This one's going to curl around, gets into the house. Is that going to get all the way buried? No, just comes a little bit past behind the tee. Not fully buried, but... Uh, Sophia! Going to bring this one on top of that red as it's sitting just behind the tee. So a freeze here would be ideal. <laughs> Thank you, Tomsky. I appreciate it. Is this one going to get around? It's just, just grazes it. It's going to redirect it out. And that's going to sit, carry just behind the T-line into the second shot spot. Yeah, a little bit inside. 
Iona's going to take advantage, saying, let's put something in between, get it behind the guard, get something separated. This one's a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah. wider. Come on, finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's this one pull as deep as possible yeah, there. Yeah, it starts yeah. to curl. Yeah. Getting okay, this one set. to get over. Good sweeping. Gets Perfect a nice one. sweep there. Jonas okay, is happy with it. Ooh, Tim bringing a little history lesson with the name. Tradition that goes back over a decade. I think that's the name we registered under for a first tournament when we went to a team oh. with Prague. Ah, okay. I was going to know the history of the team names. This one's coming in. Oh, no. A little bit wide. F flashes past the red, takes out their own. Another opportunity here for Cologne. Wanting to get this one guard over those two in the house. Gonna make try to make things difficult for <laughs> for Shropkas. <laughs> yeah, I picked it. <laughs> Lease is good. Lange. Von hier. Das beat. Wow. Das weight control. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Let it die. Wanting this one to die. It's going to carry a little bit deeper than they would like. Going to get into the house. It's not that Leaves bad. kind of a, a triple possibility, but still going to require Shropkas to uh, move some stones get things out so we see Bart saying let's uh, let's put a stone on it get some weight yep. this one seems a little oh. bit more inside oh. that's going to catch that top guard is it going to get over the nose, runs it back, and catches that one in the okay. back? Oops. So gets rid of shot stone. But do we want to play another guard? Not what they were intending, but still kind of useful. No, it's behind the guard. I think this is more tough. Let's play the guard. Good morning, James. Welcome, welcome in. Guard. Another. Cologne supporter. So another guard being asked for here. This time Robert and his long flowing golden locks being asked to beat. Tick to stay, come on, stop it, Tim. Okay. No ice since March 24th for the teams from Cologne. Is that by like design, or was there a problem with the uh, problem with the ice? I know some clubs do stop; they do close down for the season earlier than us. We do tend to we do tend to take our ice all the way to the extreme. I think we're open later than even some of the Canadian clubs that don't, that, that don't uh, stay open all year. Yep, yep, yep. Walter Day's turn in order to try to move some of these reds out of the way. This one is going to catch that top one. Splits it open just a little bit, a uh, little bit tight. Sweeper's unable to hold that. Another guard. So Cologne just going to put up another 
another guard. Going a little bit outside, a little bit heavy, they're saying. Just trying to let this one go. That's not going to be half bad, to be honest. Although it does kind of line things up. I don't think it's going to be an easy triple without some serious weight behind it. I'm not sure. Trubka's missing a few uh, few on their takeouts this end, so really need to get these stones out of the way, otherwise Cologne's going to be looking for another steal. Sweeper's working this one hard. Gets things moving, moves two out of three. That's really, and keeps things open. Very nice stone. Good result there from Walter Day. Now, what does Cologne do? Unfortunately, James, I'm not going to be here tonight. I've got some family things to take care of. So after this broadcast, I'm out of the building, but I'll definitely see you tomorrow. I will be here all day for all three sessions. And we will have you on cast, I believe. Yes, we have you on cast at 2 p.m. tomorrow against Ramstein. Looking forward to that matchup. You never want to hear the skip say, hopefully it's okay. So looking for the right ice. Looking to guard this one up, playing for the steal. All about weight and line on this one. Then again, I guess it's always about weight and line. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's over it's over curling maybe. Yeah, bring it in. Yes. This one's gonna Cut. over curl, so they're gonna try to bring this one into the house, but they don't want to leave Cut. a double. Hot guys! Till the end! Come on! Yeah, 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 yeah! Hot. Curls around, it is okay. kind of covered up, but there is a double there. I think it well. Alleen it least. He double as it's vervelend as you double, then roll you well out. At least will you well blijven liggen, denk ik. Op zich als ik hem met. So James, are you already here in Belgium or are you guys gonna be driving in yeah, later? Op zich als ik hem dun raak en hij komt daar edge 12 of zo is geen ramp. Or are you on your way now, thanks to the power of the internet and streaming? You can watch this match anywhere. <laughs> you know, with that one in the house already there and it's sitting behind cover, a double and... Yeah, Even losing a shooter isn't the worst thing in the world. I think this would, uh, because then they'd still have the opportunity to score on their last stone. Obviously bringing the weight on this one, wanting to get things to move around. Gonna be tight. Catches one. Oh whoa, well, but it crashes out and takes out their own stone. Leaving that uh I will prefer the bite off. 
leaving one for Cologne and takes yeah. out that possibility for two. So Owen, good morning. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, aye, aye. How was the training session last night? Hopefully, uh, getting used to the ice feels uh, feels good. Getting James in the in co-commentary. Yeah, if he's not playing, he's more than welcome to, to jump in here with me. It's always nice to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of help. I always feel like I, I, I'm a little bit more engaged and entertaining when I've got Pim in the booth because he's manning all of the controls and I get to just press buttons and draw the screen and be be my funny self. But focusing on every knob and button, I mean, I'm starting to get the hang of it. But I still do feel like I need four hands and and two sets of eyes. Oh, they managed to block the angle from everywhere. It's going to overcurl just a little bit. So we see this one on the top. Yeah, so there is an angle there. Not much of one. It's going to be difficult to hold the... Uh, it's going to be difficult to hold the shooter. I think they're going to try to come and... Uh, they're going to bring some weight. you got to cut this tight. <laughs> Blank's not the worst thing, though. Another heavyweight stone from Bart. Need to get this one around the guard. Trying to get this to curl over. Might be a little bit on the wide side. Catches it, but not enough. So a, another steal for Cologne. They are taking advantage here. So a third consecutive steal for Cologne brings them to a a 3-0 lead here as they start the fourth. Shrupka's just off a little bit with their takeouts, and that ends. Kind of struggling, leaves the opportunity. And Cologne has taken advantage. Anna leading things off again for Cologne here in the fourth. Touch in it. Touch in Looking side. Oops, I am controlling the wrong camera here. There we go. This one is tight. Oh, well. Always inside, so yeah, this one's always going to be in, so this one's going to trickle into the house. Oh, wrong, wrong house. There we go. <laughs> oh, Bart going corner guard on this one. Walter Ka start things off for Tilburg here in the third, fourth end. Excuse me. We had some good setups from Tilburg going out with the corner guards. Just the trouble this morning has been the takeouts so far. This one's going to carry deep. Is that going to get into, well, out of screen? And just a little bit deep. It's just out of the house. Oh 
Control it. Team like a push. Looks like this one got pushed outside. Okay, then gar nichts. Vielleicht bremst du da, glaube ich, hier einfach noch runter. Yeah, this one's gonna stay wide. Der sieht eher nach hinter T aus, oder? Oh, wow. Comes into the house, stays above the forefoot, but sitting out in the open. Possibility for, yep, hit and roll here as we see uh, Bart indicate. Hackweight tapping on the heel, international sign for Hackweight. Unless teams don't use it, then they use something else. <laughs> Getting the sweepers going on this one. Wanting to get this one around. Try to hold it. Is it going to curl? Just a little bit too much. And that is going to spill out to the edge, but does stay in the eight foot just behind T line. Still a usable stone for. Oops, wrong one. Usable stone for. Cologne here. All right. Indicating this one's a bit on the straighter side, so not giving a whole lot of weight, uh, ice for hack weight here. Oh, <laughs> almost a fall from Simone there. Perfect. Look clean, look clean. Oh, look clean. Want the clean, it's gonna nose hit, so it's gonna sit out there. And that's gonna be an decision time for Bart. What does he do? No fear. Looks like they're gonna try to draw in behind, sit top four, use that red as a guard. Likes the line, so just tell those sweepers, look out for the weight. Just kind of keeping an eye on it. This feels wide, I'm not sure that's gonna curl over enough. Not gonna get behind the guard. Uh, a little too much ice there, I believe. Options here, hit and roll, looking to go underneath the guard, but I think even if it's outside, they'd be able to uh, do something with it. Rolling out to the other edge, keep the house split. Looking for the curl, feels a little bit wide. It's going to catch the outer edge, roll over. Will that stay in the house? It does. It stays biting over air on the side. Leaves a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a Swedish curl to kind of get a little bit more back in the house. So Dogmar coming in. Once again, looking for that draw. Line looks a little bit better. Looking for the length. It still feels a little bit wide. Starting to curl, but just doesn't have that huge amount of swing that we saw last night. We're seeing a bit more, bit more curl with the stones last night. This one comes in. Good weight on the T line right there in the button, but it's out and exposed. So leaves it uh, an opening here. Hack weight. 
This one's still a bit on the outside as well. That's going to catch it over, and that's going to roll over. And also stays biting over there on the edge. So that's a good result there for for them. Yeah, they wanted to roll in underneath on the guards, but they're sitting with four stones in the house. Five stones in the house, excuse me. So everything's out at the edge, and the center is open. So Shrubka's have an opportunity here to get something in place but they need to take advantage they haven't been able to find hey, that hey, line hey, yet line okay. this still feels a little bit wide is this going to curl over if it's a little bit lighter it's going to be fine but this also is hard He's a little bit too heavy. It's just not going to hide the curl, so they're just not finding that line over there. Same again. Oops. Same speed. So, hack weight on this one again. Going to try to get rid of it. Clear the yellow out of the house. Yeah, this yeah. one is definitely tighter. Hot. Hot. Come on. Yeah, We're going to yeah. have to hold this line. Oh, I think this is going to curl over. It's actually going to catch this guard. Just ticks it over. Gems on the red in the back, so... Doesn't change much other than opening up the center. Taking, getting rid of that guard. So Shrubka's needing, needing this. They need to take advantage of this opportunity right now. Just for length, needs to curl over. Is this one going to stay out wide? That one is kind of drifting out wide. Betches. Actually, that's a pretty good stone. I like that. Didn't see that freeze out there coming, but that, that works out really well for them. Let's see if we've got a good view of the overhead. So it's got a little bit of backing. It's a little bit of cover. It is sitting second shot. I don't know the... Do you think it's enough? Take weight? Can I not have any take out here, no? Or any freeze? Not an easy, not an easy setup for Cologne. They've got five stones in the house, but being outdrawn by two yellows, not easy to get rid of that second shot. But we can do a small bounce only. Try for the draw. Try for a draw, use that yellow as backing. Hopefully not tap it too far away, but just a little bit to uh, keep some separation. But it's still going to be behind the T-line. So not a not an easy call here, really. You know, they could potentially, I don't know if this is here to come up here and then try to double those out. But that's going to be difficult. I don't think I like that. It's yeah, a little it's bit okay. long, a little bit difficult. So just going to be coming in with the hack weight. I don't envy, don't envy Jonas with this shot right now. Not an easy, not an easy decision. This one is outside. Is this going to fly by? Outside. It does. Oh. That's okay. unfortunate. That's going to be. Then have a best for a chance that we stay in for two. 
Yeah, they want to split this open. At least wel beter dan die rode. Maar hoofd vind ik ook oké. Okay. Kijken. Yeah, looking to put yeah. something here on the outside. Keep the house split. Kijken, yeah. Try to put something over here. Keep a double out. Keep the house split open. Try to make sure that it's got to be. This one up here has to be second or third shot. That's about where they need it. Take away any kind of double. Least top off. I must a minimal half half lift or a bit lift on the royal. And all is done is okay. Half minimal half off. And least lift on the hoge kant, but good. They want this half eight foot, and ideally above the tee or on the tee. We're gonna set up a big end in this big end here. Get back on. Get in the scoring. This one feels a little bit on the heavy side. Trying to make this one curl over, get onto that one back there. A little bit deep, but now leaves a double. Not quite clear if that yellow or that red is, which one is, is third shot. The difficulty will be getting the, you know, if they go for this double, they don't hold the shooter. And so then it's kind of leaving two. Freeze is not always easy. The freeze would be a force to one. So yeah, lots of lots of options here, but yeah, leaving that one, missing that one. Not helpful for Bart. He needed that one. Very much higher in the house. And I forgot we were listening to <laughs> we were listening to Bart and not Jonas. They were actually having a discussion. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yes, yes, out, out, go, 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 good, good. Trying to get this one to curl over. It needs to carry over past the nose. Oh, just rolls out a bit too wide. Gets rid of one, however. Over curled just a little bit. So now they're going to be looking at this. Let's see if we can see. Oh, we've got an option here. Look at tapping this one back to move this red out of the way. Shooter would kind of stay here, then they could score three. So don't. Just kind of want to come in. They don't want to hit this too hard. Just want to make sure they get it a little bit close to the nose to tap that red one out of the way. We'd slide over, sit two, sit three. Not an easy shot. Could uh, with this weight could over curl. Um, they already sitting one, so this is just a way to try to score three. Don't think they can really screw things up here and take away points. Actually, they could. 
they could if they actually hit this wrong, but he'd have to be too way too heavy for it to uh, to ha to manage something like that. No, oh, Bart with Hammerstone going to play a tap tap back for three. This is going to just miss. Can't quite get the curl. Is that going to sweep out the back? And it does. So one for Dunshrubka's unfortunately carries over a little bit. Doesn't curl over enough. So Dunshrubka's on the board, but obviously not very happy with with just that one would have liked to have gotten two or three but uh hey getting on the boards the important part they're getting back in the game it's gonna take things with cologne now Keck with with the hammer and the lead going into the fifth end so we've got like a small break here we'll see if the teams will take an intermission somebody is going to get water, Simone is going to get water. I've ad I've decided I'm going to pronounce Simon's name differently every time I say it. So even in the same sentence, if I have to say it twice, it's going to be Simon, Simone, Simon, Simon. <laughs> it's just easier that way. All right, so small intermission, so. Let's pop in. I'll give myself a chance to stand up, take a little bit of a, a breather here. So, you know, we're seeing uh, some good stones, good play from Cologne, really trying to uh, keep control of the ends. Three steals in a row to start things off. The Shrubka is looking a little bit shaky. Let's missing a little bit, a bit of takeouts here. So they've got to find that line. On these uh, on these up weight stones, not really throwing super heavy weights, but still just being outside. And apparently, there's not as much curl this morning as there was last night. Um, probably 20, 30 less centimeters of swing. But hey, you got to adjust. Let's see what happens here. You know, both teams taking a little bit of a break, trying to look at things. Oh, we're getting some karma points, maybe from. Yes, Jonas going down to get his gripper and putting up the score, uh, updating the scoreboard already. It really only get karma points at the end of the match, but hey, it is what uh, you know. It's it's practice for the end of the match. So, what do you guys think? I mean, how does how does this been looking for you guys? I think you know for not having ice for a couple of weeks to practice. Cologne looking very strong, looking really good out there. Shrubka's needing to find some uh, weight control. Uh, especially on their draws, the guards have been carrying into the house, things carrying a little bit deeper than they would have liked. Uh, draw weights, uh, not draw weights, but uh, lines just being a bit outside, expecting a little bit more curl on some of these hack weight shots, not just, just not being there. So even some of the draws have been quite wide, so need to make that adjustment coming in. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. They're going to take a long break and they're going to make me talk for five minutes standing here on camera by myself. <laughs> oh, no, it looks like they're just going to get some water and going back out. So these are the parts that I struggle to fill time alone. I have Pim. We can talk to each other. I can't even take notes because I've got so many buttons and things going on. But uh, so I'm trying to do this from memory, uh, what's going on, just that I think it's really coming down to Shrubka's with the uh, the misses on the takeouts. They've had some opportunities, chances to score multiple there. They had an opportunity to score two, possibly three, um, just a bit wide, not getting quite enough of the tap. But that was going to be a very low percentage shot, I think, that last one where trying to tap it on the edge, get it back, and then roll things over. Maybe the safer option would have been to just draw in for two, get on the scoreboard. You've still got four ends left. So maybe that was their reasoning for going the higher, the, the lower percentage shot. They're sitting, you know, there's four ends left down by one, down by two, not that big of a deal. 
not that much of a difference at this stage in the game. But they are going to have to start to do things, push things around, make sure that uh, make sure that uh, Kekkun doesn't score multiples on their hammer, even if they could possibly steal. Um, try to get back into it that way. But they've got to get that. Uh, they've got to find their lines. Cologne just needs to stick around, keep what they're doing. Got a little bit of weight uh, uh, work to do on their speeds. They've had a few stones carry in, things just being a little bit wide. But I think overall, they're kind of keeping things in play, kind of dictating things, moving things around. So, oh, I just realized yeah, we've got the match over on sheet A. We could take a look at that really quick while I adjust the camera. We can take a look at the scoreboard over there. Let's head back out to this one. So, not sure which team is which. That's the only thing we'll have to check. But we're seeing, you know, three to one for Team Red sitting there in the fifth end. Let me see if I can't move the other camera over to a spot where we can see who's throwing. Nope. I'm going to do this. All right, so the Rangers, Class Oak Rangers lead N Negatine three to one over the fifth end. N Negatine sitting with a sitting with the shot in there at the on the button. Going to try to cover this up. That's got an important uh, match. That's a, that's an important matchup over there in the A League. Sitting with uh, N Negatine sitting with four points. Doing this will jump them up into th winning. This will jump them up into third place. Rangers, having only played their this is only their second match of this session. They will be uh, of this half of the season. You know, would give them four points on a win with a win. So <laughs> teams still talking. So I'm still trying to fill time. <laughs> Let's see if I can't get the other camera as well. Yeah, we can watch this one down. Little bonus curling action for you if the cameras decide to not be so tricky. Trying to draw this one around that guard. Looks like it's going to get around nicely. Is this one going to curl over? Little bit heavy. That's going to end up on the nose there of the yellow, but still keeps it in with two shots. All right, we are heading back over. They're getting ready back on the ice, so we are going to jump back over, get things ready. Wild well, Dakota to start things off here in the fifth end for Dentropkas. Dentropkas scoring one in the in the fourth to get on the scoreboard. Kekkon leads three to one. They'll have the hammer. This one coming in a bit heavy. It's going to drift into the house. Goes just behind the T line. Jonas going to sweep this one as deep as possible. Gets it through to the back of the eight foot. Oh, got everything there. Anna playing her first stone here in the fifth. Sleeper's looking for weight here. Trying to curl this over, get this deep as possible. Mix it over the T-line, trying to bring this out a little bit wider. It's going to be a bit on the high side, but still usable. Bart now looking to defend that center 
Center stone. Hij is oké. Okay. Lane lengte. It's the line, just wanting the sweepers Ready? to watch for the weights. Ja, okay, wiel drie. Yep. Yep. Uh, needing this one to curl. Want to get this one onto the center okay. line if they possible. Hard as you can, hard as you can. Gets it, comes over <laughs> just. <laughs> Good sweep there, just comes up a little bit light. So, Yona saying, let's hit and roll. Don't need to go very far. Hack weights, so the things are sitting exposed. This one to, asking this one to curl over. I think this Good. one's going to on, be back. okay. There he's making. They want that roll. Is not going to get the roll over to the inside. Stays out. So Bart going to opt to do with this. Are they going to use this for their own hit and roll? That's the line, just looking for weight. So this one's definitely not a takeout weight, not a heavier weight, so really trying to sweep this one to get it as deep as they can. And don't mind me, don't know why I was talking about a takeout. Oh, it is on the red, never mind. <laughs> Old man is confused. News at oh, yes, 11. Ach so, du hast, wenn du den peelst, dann bleibt er hier. Den Tap. Kann auch den Kameramann drüber ausspielen. Klar, vorne ins Haus. Ja. Looking at their different options. Jonas not really looking at the, uh, the takeout just would end up sitting with another guard in the middle. So they're going to try to draw around to use these to their advantage. Make sure this one holds the line. Is this going to sneak around those guards? Going to be able to hold it? Oh, just catches it. That's going to trickle out. Sits just behind the T-line. Looking for top four on this one. They've got the guards up front. They've got the backing behind the T-line. So just really want to make sure this one gets around those guards and then just let it sit. This one looks quite wide. Don't want this doing anything on it. It's going to be a bit deep. You don't need to clean as the heart is, sir. A little bit wide. Okay. Let's get in roll. Heck. Oh, this is sitting exposed. Going after it with hack weight. Try to roll underneath it. Rubble in the middle. Outside. Needs to curl. Needs to curl a lot. Are they going to be able to drag this over? I'm not so sure they will. That's going to just flash by. Ooh. That's a tough, tough miss there. 
Don't Ready know you could plan to do that. Still going back for the draw, trying to get around the guards. A little heavy here could be okay because then they could tap and roll in off their own, get rid of it, like make it so that it's not useful for Cologne. Yep, 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 yep. Immediately call for sweep. It feels a little bit tighter than the other ones. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a bit tight. It's going to curl a lot, and actually it's going to over curl. Covers over that guard back there, but you still see a little bit of a gap. Heck. Hack weight going to go inside out. Turning off Heck. my lights here in the uh, <laughs> in the hall. Oh, this one way a tight. You see that it took a big, big turn there. It's going to catch the yellow, but I don't believe that's going to push it into a uh, okay. scoring position. It does kind of open things up over there. So, but yeah, you can see Robert just throwing his pushing his hand to the side to really just kind of cut over. Okay. Needing to get this I one like behind hard. the guards. Yep, 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 yep. You see it slow down line right there. Hard line, hard. Oh. It's just going to get around. They need to hold it hard line. Oh. Sweepers oh. get it there. Squeezes it by. Needs to get this one to bite. Oh, I don't know. I think red is still sitting second shot. Our overhead's just a little bit off angle, so it's 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 very hard to see. But you know, uh, Jonas kind of indicating that uh, that red was sitting second shot. So going for a hit and roll here. Needs to get this to curl. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. Gonna be on the outside part of the nose, so that's ooh, misses the yellow, misses the red sitting there in the back, so red still sitting shot. Look over the top. It's so hard to tell. The bias is definitely for the back, and I think that it is that red. That yellow one is cool. Talking about possible chip if it overcurls, so. Bart okay with it being a little bit light. Want T line. Because if it comes up as a guard, comes up light as a guard, it's not a disaster. It's true that could be that would take away the uh, could take away the draw path in there. Kind of cleaning it. Line and weight looks okay. Vice skip coming out to help here. 
just going to come up a little bit lighter than they would have liked. They really wanted that chip, but that is going to take away that path. Let's check down first. Are you sure? Really, really looking to make sure their shot. It's I not. I, an yeah, I would say so too. It's very difficult to, to say anything for sure. But a, killing the guard is not an option. No? It's too risky. It's an option. No? This one doesn't go away. He will stay even there if it's not working. This Looking for a hit and roll here. I think it's fine, yeah. Top red's not going to go anywhere. We've got to make sure that they be careful about that. Outside, so we need maybe there. All right. Outside line has been pretty, pretty straight. What do we need for street hack? Normal. Hack house. Going for the hit and roll on this one. Good idea. We'll take away, it. hopefully, I get something over there, but also probably take away the hit and roll option for Schopkes. Getting this one, to, asking for this one to curl. Put it inside. Put it inside the red one, maybe. Okay. Oh. Oh no! Catches it on the outside. Worst case scenario. Really bad. Jams over oh. there. Yep. Really, really bad there. Yeah. Not. So now, for sure, Shrubkas is sitting there. They've got an opportunity here. Hit and roll. Tap this one away. They just missed it on the foot. On the. Yeah, that's very so. Not enough room to, to hit and roll, really. So I think in the ideal situation, yeah. And I'll name one. Coming around here. Just biting this so that way any tap, any takeout with a red would end up outside here. I wouldn't be sc wouldn't score so Kind of on ball on them to leggen. At least leggen we buiten we 4 foot. Um Ja, ik denk als je kans het rally langs die gele is en hij is iets aan de zachte kant. Pushen. Too light isn't a terrible miss here. They're really trying to protect that, you know, just prevent Shopka from scoring, or not Shopka, Kloon from scoring uh, more than one, or even scoring at all. If they can manage to score two, that would be a great result. Sweeper's working on this one, feel it might be a little bit light. It's starting to slow down there, so they need to drag this one. Well, today coming out to help sweep this one. They, it's not going to curl over. It's actually turning out to be a little bit wide. How does this one end up <laughs> scoring-wise? It's very close, but I think red is second shots. And now it leaves something for a hit and roll into uh, to score. I think it's hanging. Maybe touch less. If we hit it, we get one. Yeah, it needs to be on the on the inside edge of the uh, the nose, so it rolls over. It needs to be biting just a little bit. Need to be careful that they don't hit this on the outside part of the nose because that could push it back, take out the red, and they could sit, give up two. Back 
Yeah, just going with Hackway here. Simon, yet another way to pronounce his name. Really, I heard this one hard. Needs to get around this guard. Need to hold it so it doesn't shoot through either. Is that going to over curl? Needs to sit. Bart trying to get it. And oh, get that little Swedish curl to hold it in place. And so a score of one for Cologne. Very good stone there from Jonas. That is going to give them a four to one lead. Very, very nice play. Now, good good play from, from Bart. Well, they took advantage of the mistake from, uh, mistake earlier that knocked the scoring stone out from Cologne, but hey, we're seeing really tights on both sides. <laughs> So as we head into end number six, Anna will be leading things off for Keck Köln as they lead four to zero, four, excuse me, four to one over Dunshabka's. Really tight back and forth. Looking for that guard here. Both teams struggling a little bit with finding the curl, finding the right lines for the curl. Wade's been a little bit better this second half, this dead end, than uh, early on. And I don't have the other one set up, so is this going to get into play? No. That one finds the center line a bit high for the guard. But still, uh, hang on, wait a minute, what have I done here? Oh. Nice, okay. Wrong position here. Okay, there we go. We'll zoom in. You would think that I by the sixth end I would have these controls all done, but nope. Okay. <laughs> right here, Don. Right there. One's going wide. Is this going to stay outside the house? Nope, just stays. Okay. Prima, this creeps okay. into the it's 12 foot. Hard. Go. Get the right person on the scoreboard. There we go. Well, switch. Now asking for the curl. Originally asking for lines. Switches them. Trying to bring it hard. It's going to be, yeah. is it going to curl around enough? It's yeah, going to yeah, get into the house. Stays a little bit outside of that, of the guard. So what is, what is Bart going to do? They want a nose hit. Just going to leave something in front of it. Very tight line for this with that kind of weight. I think it's curling more than that. Clean. Okay. Just cleaning it. Out there. Yep. While they're trying to drag this one oh. over. Oh, oh, oh. That's one. Very nice stone there. That's going to catch the inside. Roll over underneath the guard. Good, good result from that one. Buried behind the guard. Red is sitting shot, but it is exposed. So Jonas saying, "Let's let's throw a guard up over it." Be 
Pete? Feels a bit up, wide. Want it to ya. And they want this one above the house. Need this one to curl over. But it looks a little bit on the deep yep, side finish. as well. Yes. Wants yes, to yes, finish yes, this yes. one hard. I don't know they're going to be able to drag it or push it's it over. There's not really curling there. Oops, wrong house. There we go. Carries a bit deep. Now there's a double there. You must eat roller. Control. Now this one needs to be a little bit on the inside as well. You don't want to leave this sitting on a nose because that would leave a double as well for. Would leave a double for Pallone. This one feels a bit outside. Dagmar waving her hand. Ooh, catches it. Well, it moves one of them, but drops that second one underneath sitting shot. Now it's buried behind. It's going to be sitting buried behind the uh, yellow, so... Alone's going to look to put something in between that guard. Good normal, so we must have a bit rollen. Oh, nope, going for hit and roll here. Yeah, in here. In here. What's the line? Hard. Catches it, moves it over, but just a little bit inside, so it leaves it thin. Back off, back follow, klein stick here, roll to the links is ideal. Back off, back follow. So, want to do a light tap on this red? Just try to maybe move it back of the house. Keep the shooter rolled in there. Yep. 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 Hard. Hard. Hard all the way. Life gun. I feel good. Trying to keep this one out there. Line. I like this one a lot. This one's great. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Fantastic stone from Dagmar there. Does exactly what is asked for out of four on the curl it. Clicked and recorded for posterity. Let's get the right camera angle. There we go. Robert and his golden locks coming in, looking for a takeout. Little bit squirrely there with the back foot. Also looking at his broom. This one, unfortunately, is going to be inside, so this one's going to just flash on by. I think that little wobble at the... Uh, wobble at the start, threw it off, caused him to push it inside. Looking for... To split the house here, try to set something up out on that uh, outer, other outer edge. Nice boy, lane length, fill him here. Fill him here. Lane length. Want this one wide as possible. Only wanting it for line. Don't want that one too high. They would have liked that one a little bit deeper. Does leave a flat, not quite so flat double. Yep, and that's exactly, oops. We don't really see Jonas in that shot. Uh, exactly what they're going for here. 
Going for this double. Needs to hold this one. That one's going to be... Rolls over. Doesn't get the flash over, but it's sitting in a good spot. They can still tap that one away. I like that stone. I'll give that a click and a look at in a little bit. I think a little step here. Come back here. Well, Bart looking at a possible tap on that red, but you got to get onto the inside part of the nose. Going with back four weights, just trying to get to the around the guard inside edge of that red one. Move it out of the way. Okay. Yep. Oh. Oh, this needs to curl over. It's going to get around the guard. Oh, unfortunately stays on that outer edge of the nose. And which stone got pushed furthest away? Yellow. So red sitting shot, but still two yellow stones in the house. This is shot. I don't know if you can go this, but are we then? We are not second then. I think this is, yeah, but this is second, but. But I think if we kill this. Get a little wall. What do you think? I don't think we can go there, that's critical, but if we get a little wall over. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, that yellow one's sitting high enough that it's going to cause some problems yeah, for for Jonas. Or back line. What do you think? Will it go out then? Yeah. yeah. We're going with the back line weight. Want to move this yellow one out and then kind of roll slightly over to the... Uh, over to the left. To heck great. That's the auf jeden Fall rausgeht der gelbe. working this one, trying to make sure this gets around that guard. There it goes. And then it's going to roll out. Gets it through. They get that little yellow roll. Very nice stone there. Exactly what they wanted. Yeah, at least I have a little roll from the outside. Only if I come here, that's okay. You look over the top. Die ligt wel second. Maar goed, we proberen hem wel gewoon. Ik heb twee stenen. Dus uh, dit zou ik hem gewoon noemen voor je. Ik zag hem en ik dacht, dit is toch niet. Ik heb een probleem. Ja, precies. Een heel groot nummer van opties voor hem. Ik denk niet dat ze dit kunnen zetten in de shot position met een hidden roll. Met allemaal. Doe maar, nog maar, doe maar gewoon krap. They definitely yeah. want to get rid of some of these reds. They've got two yellows sitting in the house. Third and fourth shot at the moment. So if they can clear out these reds, they could end up trying to draw or hit for three at the end. So. Yep, yep, yep. 
Calling for the sweep. Trying to get it off. They want this to have some kind of roll. No roll on the, just a nose hit, but. Now what does, you can also draw. What does draw Jonas do? Do you like to draw? Going behind. He can't kill both if you're going here. What do you yeah, like? I like. I think if, even if you're going this, sitting second, it's fine. Because, we, okay, we must be here. There's no double then. Yeah, they gotta make sure there's not deep enough so they don't take leave an inadvertent double. I like this. I like this. Get in the this house, call. Get second, then we will see. No double. If, if you're going deep, we need to go this deep. And if you're going high, it's fine here. Okay. Yeah. Needs to make sure they don't leave it in a position like they uh, they want to get this buried behind the guard. That wrong hooter call. Okay. That would prevent uh, you know. Ich habe kein gespielt. Take kind of the scoring. You got to make sure the miss is important on this. Where they, that's what they were discussing. Like, where do we miss? If it's deep, not too deep. If it's if it's high, but this needs to be second shot. At the very least, this needs to be second shot. If they don't get this one buried behind the guard, yes. I feel like this might be a little bit too much ice. If they're trying to bury this. Like we always say, here in the booth, I'm the best curler in the world. Make sure this one gets to the house. And then Jonas is getting in on the sweeping. Robert going to get in the way. Very, very good stone. Gets that to second. Good sweep. Really, really good results. Takes the takes the draw way up that side. Gonna make it very difficult for for Shrubkas to score two. A nose hit. A nose hit leaves one. Or would 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 leave a steal. So they're looking at this angle. Try to come up here. Run this one back. These reds go away. Shooter would fly out, but then that would leave three for Shopkas. Not a, it's a very low percentage kind of shot. Oh, thank you, Lee. I get, I get the double for, for, for three. Of I put of a draw for eight. You know. We're getting into that stage of the match. It's like, if they if they get the three, they tie things up with two ends left. Otherwise, it's they're down two and giving back the hammer with two ends left. No time clock here in the B League, so no timeouts necessary. They can have their have their discussion. Are playing a little bit on the slower side with a two hour time through uh, not quite through six ends. All right, they're going for the, the big weight, taking the risk. I like it. If they miss, they give a steal of one. If they make it, they'll score three. Here we go. Eight. 
Oh, and he gets it. Wow. Wow. What a shot. Fantastic stone there from Bart. Amazing. Gets the triple. Not quite sure what to do with their hands on the... Uh, Thank you. <laughs> with, the, the, with the clap, you've got the eagle claw. But that was huge. Shot of the match right there for sure. That brings them back, ties things up, two ends to play. What, what an incredible shot. They're all looking in the, trying to catch it on the uh, replay. They were about 20 seconds behind on the TV. Hopefully they were able to see it, but don't worry. You guys will get to see it on YouTube. That will definitely be coming in there. Yeah, that was fantastic. Hopefully I've got a good angle of it. <laughs> But that was that was an incredible shot. So let's see. Moving here into the seventh, this thing changes things up quite a bit now. All tied up. Bye ball. Hey. Line is perfect. There we go. Camera yep. didn't want to yep. switch. Yep. Okay, Homer. Least of the center line, blijf you there. Okay, gaan we door. Yep, yep, yep. Nope. Nope. That hey. one didn't go yeah, right. Was my okay. Maar goed, goed voor This one on the center line, very nice guard there. Oh, nope, sorry. Just carried over off the center line. I have these cameras in the wrong position. Hey, why is the cameras not responding? There we go. Calling for line. Want to make sure this one gets around. Just sneaks it past that guard. What a stone. Good sweeping there from Robert and Simone. Gets that one. Just squeezes it by the guard. Gets it into the house. Very, very nice stone there. I'm assuming, Omen, you're talking about that double, although that... Uh, that sweep there was okay. was definitely click worthy. Okay, next one. I like well to rem, but I rem still. Blijf erbij. The fear at least. I think the weight is good, but I think this one's going to be just a little bit wide. Trying to get this one to curl over. And good sweep there. Stays a little bit out of the edge, but they get that all the way down. Very nice stone. Heck. So looking at a hack weight here, they can roll either direction. It's going to be okay for this one. Really want to hold the line on this one. I think this one looks pretty good. Yeah, this one's going to hit. On the nose, not able to get it to either side. Not sure that's a really a... Yeah, you can see it. There's hack weight at it. They're going to try the same thing, try to get on the inside edge of the nose just to roll it underneath a little bit. Are going to have to work this one, make sure it gets around those guards. Starting to curl. I think that's going to catch the top one. Yeah, unfortunately, splits that guard. Does open things up in the middle for, for them, but 
Cologne is going to have to, is going to put up a cover. Oh, <laughs> got an initiation going on over on sheet C. <laughs> Wayward slider comes shooting into play. <laughs> Yona's accidentally stepping out. Hopefully he's he's all right. A little startled, but no harm, no foul. Yeah, here finish good. This one's going to over curl, carry a little bit deep, kind of taps. Triple ish here, I think. At least some doubles move some of these things out of the way. Little wobble on the slide there from Dagmar. Sweepers on it right away. It's going to catch just the inside part of the nose, moves some stones around, gets two out of the way, holds a shooter, and leaves the red sitting in the middle. So I like that one quite a lot. Edges. That's good. Bart also okay with that, opens things up for them. Going to try to prevent uh, Cologne with a big... Uh, Big end here. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, for line. Oh, for line. Immediately calling for line right out of his oh, hand. All the way. Come on, guys. Come on, Robert. Hot. Come on, Robert. Yeah, 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 both. Eat. Eat. He gets it, gets rid of the yellow, but now is sitting, sets up a double over there, oh. but. I think the important part of getting rid of that yellow. Da könnte glaube ich hier mehr in der Ecke vielleicht. Control normal. Normal take out. Inner edge of the nose. Could be good to clear them out and still hold the shooter. This nose. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, hard. That one's going to carry over a little bit, but gets things moving enough and gets rid of both of them. Very nice stone them for Walter. Walter, excuse me. Keeping that shot stone or the shooter in play. Big on that one. Very nice. Good result. Getting into a hitting game here. Shrupp is okay with that. Giving up one, taking the hammer into the eighth. Would be ideal. <laughs> Making sure he's not, that he's settled. Don't rush the shot. I think that's a good piece of skipping. Tomsky, you're also getting nervous as well. <laughs> this one flashes by. Ooh. Unfortunate there. That's. Thought that was a good piece of skipping from Jonas to kind of ask him to just say, hey, just relax, slow down. You'd be okay. And unfortunately, still, still carries over. Oops. Camera's in the right spot. There we go. Yeah. 
Nice Asian crop. It's a little tight, he says. Just yep. looking for a guard here. This one's going to over curl. Is this going to leave a double? This is this also okay. This is for the force, that's good. Have the double, have the need muckler. All right. So Bart saying that's okay for the force. There is yet another slider coming flying into the play. This time nobody steps on it. Do you want to play Pia? Pia right? Oh. oh Pia! Pia! Not an easy double going with a little bit of a heavier weight. That stagger is off just enough to uh Maybe cause some problems. Yes! Yes! This one whoa, whoa, whoa. over curling. Oh, almost gets that plan B with the over curl and taking it, but just comes underneath. So, a little bit of a push. Op zich is die positie waar je lag ook wel heel mooi. Op zich hebben we met het guard wel hetzelfde resultaat. Bart looking at his options for setting up the force. That's wel naar. Put the house somewhere flat so there's not a double. Ja, dan heb ik hem liever zeg maar. Yeah, same height is ideal. As we here neerleggen, dan gaan ze de draw moeten gooien. En dit is net een naar lijn om de achter te komen. Dus de kans dat ze open liggen is best wel aanwezig. Now they're discussing putting a guard over that. It would force them to draw around behind. Not an easy thing if you look at the. Yeah, not much room to draw behind. So. Going to go with the guard, the safer option. For a little bit less ice, they need to make sure this one is covered up well. Going on it for weight. You need to make sure it has the curl too. Trying to pull this over. It's going to be outside. Yep. Doesn't quite get there. Yep, just staying outside. So. And it leaves a guard for. A cologne here. But he blocked well the makkelijkere kant om het te speed. If you're doing hack, it's hack enough to go there. But I think it starts curling a lot. I think we have to go there. Even if you get the roll there, it's fine. Don't shut the guard. I think we I think we need here for hack. I think it's, it's curling a lot. Jonas thinks the ice curls a lot more. I'm not so sure it's going to curl that much in that direction. I have a feeling that it, it's like that other way going outside on that left side is a bit more. We can see the A scoreboard there on the, on the left. We see it's four to four, all tied up in the last end. And they get teen with the hammer. Here we've got our own tie score here in the seventh, four to four, coming down to the last couple of stones in the seventh end.
Followed for the curl. Oh, flashes by. I think just a little too much ice. Not as much curl as they thought in that ice. Yeah. Yeah, net 12. Eigenlijk net hier, denk ik. Op zich. So, opportunity for Cologne, or for Schopkes to try to set up a steal here. Yeah. Denk half cover for die. Gonna try to put something biting the house. Hey, Ram. Dat gaat ze nooit hitten, dus net altijd. Dit is dit zeg maar om de drukker een beetje extra te leggen. Dus als hij net bijt, dan denk zoiets. Trying to guard up over this. Hopelijk. Op zich, als die mocht die curlen, net als die van jou, leg hem dan in een 45 graden hoek. Looking at all of their options here. Don't want to leave a double. Don't want to leave a pocket. Want to leave that guard up there. Force, force Cologne to draw. They don't want to let them throw some weight. Half for the gele. Kan zijn dat die vraag komt te tegen als die wat op force blijft, blijft te gaan. Als hij iets te ver blijft te curlen. Maar de voor is oké. Het liefst, liefst zeg maar een kwart te vinden. Bart pointing up, indicating it's a little bit heavy. I don't think he's calling out the number one. <laughs> oh. Trying to sweep this one in. Is that gonna get there? No, nope. it comes up just a little bit light and leaves the gap, which I don't think is necessarily the worst, the worst results. But it does give Jonas and Cologne an opportunity to play for a blank and keep the hammer going into the last end. So we've seen both these teams quite not be quite as sharp as they need to be with some of their takeouts. So I think at this point you want to take the points. Indicating this one's a bit outside, wanting it to curl. Gets rid of it and clears it out, so they get the blank. I didn't know which angle to go at there. Very nice stone there from Jonas. Gets the take out, gets the blank, takes advantage of the miss from Bart. And so we are going to head into the eighth end, all knotted up. Cologne keeping the hammer. Huge, huge advantage there. Bart just needed that stone just over curled on him a little bit. And uh, if this doesn't get your heart going, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't be watching this. But this is what we love here on this channel. King's coming down to the last end, last stone. Oops, we got the inset there. Let's get this going into the right spot. We're getting things coming down to the last last end, hopefully taken down all the way to the last stone. Love, love, love this here on the channel. Walter K is going to be taking, uh, starting things off here in the eighth end. I'm not sure I clicked the chapter button, so we'll click it again. Uh, strap in, folks. We're in for 12 to 15 minutes of some good curling. Some excitement here on the edge of your seat. This one's going to carry in. Super's trying to work this one as deep as possible. Try to get it on that center line. There it goes. Good opening stone there. Come around. 
War lieber so, oder? Going for an come around on this first stone. Ja, so spielen. Gib einen Touch mehr, damit wir auf gar keinen Fall auf die Guard gehen. Die Nier ist auf alle Fälle gut. They're all finished over on sheet A. Not sure what the result is there. They were saying it's an exciting game as well. Trying to bring this one down. I think it's not going to come around behind that guard like they wanted, but goes into the house. It's over the tee. Let's see what Bart tries to do with that. Do my heck wait. All right, hack wait, try to get rid of this roll over underneath. Yep. Yep. Ooh, this one feels tight. Uh, Got to be careful. Yep. Is this one going to take away the guard? Yep. Oh, it's actually light. That's that's good for the tap. <laughs> hey, good on the tap the weight. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's <laughs> what they wanted. Just comes about in a different <laughs> way. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> and so that was definitely a bit of luck. It's exactly what they were trying to end up as. Maybe the red being out of play, but... You know, we take it. <laughs> yeah. So Anna with her last stone of this morning's matchup. We're going to hold this line. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, just sneaks it by. Gets that down into a very nice <laughs> position. Good sweeping there. Shopka is still sitting shot position. Yeah, guard is the lane. I don't know where guard is. We can him here guard. But he can always be here by. That's a bit of a risk. I thought maybe the guard was on this. As he saw this, it's okay. Looking for a freeze on that, that red. We can see that there is... A little bit of a double there, but there's also a hit and roll possibility in off that red. Okay. So trying to freeze up in here would be ideal. Nice, good. Yep, yep. Likes yep. the line just for the weight. Yep, 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 yep. The saying T line. This one's going to sneak yeah, around that guard. Open. Nope, actually catches it, opens things up. Okay. Step back. Yep, not ideal for that stone. Now it leaves open a, a tap back. But the curl here in is pretty good, no? Yeah, Marika, maybe I should put that. I mean, it's not a it's not a slogan I've ever I, I created. Definitely not saying that. But hey, maybe that's something we could put on a coffee cup, sell in our merch store. <laughs> I hear that one a lot when I play golf because it doesn't matter how it looks. It's where it ends up. So. Yes, sweep. Robert. 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 Calling okay, for Robert to sweep. Feels a bit wide. Yeah, Anna, yes. Anna. Ryan Anna. to get this one to curl over. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to get the tap. It's actually going to get that double that they were worried that uh, Bart was worried about. 
Leafs things in an awkward position. As we look over the top of the house. See the top of Bart's head, but there, yeah. Yeah, three, net by the 12. Don't really want to hit and roll on this red because it would leave leave a double possibly there. Don't want that. I think they're going to be trying for a guard. That's okay. He is mine. Likes the line. Just wants this one to curl over. Yeah, they want to take away that oh use of that red. Very good stone. So. Oh, is that there? I'm not so sure. Yeah, maybe. That's a tight one, though. But even splitting off that yellow is not going to be the worst thing in the world, so they've got options here. Uh, inside out, got some good weight on it. Gets it through. Oh, and I clicked the wrong one. Sorry, folks. Oh, <laughs> he gets the nose in. I clicked the wrong house, wrong camera. Oh. Very, very nice stone. I sh I should have a camera angle of that for the for editing. Unfortunately for the broadcast, I am I am very sorry. <laughs> That was a great stone from Simone there. Okay. Yep, yep. Gonna tap that yellow. Oh no! How does that happen? Wow. Unfortunate break there. We saw that happen a couple of weeks ago in a doubles match. So much rubble in the house, and they managed to find the gap between everything. You know, Tim, until you pointed it out, I did not really pay attention that Simone was left-handed. <laughs> oh, boy. You can kind of say that with all these things, I'm focusing so much on the controls, I'm actually not even focusing on the players. Didn't even notice he was left-handed. <laughs> so, the, the one positive thing for Shropka's on that is that gap is now a little bit open, so they could get to it, but Cologne... Definitely trying to take this one out, kind of just cover it up. Oh. Indicating he is a bit heavy. That one's going to tap that yellow. Is it going to get that same? Finds that same line through. So <laughs> they showed him the way, and there it goes. <laughs> But now that gap is even wider. Is there is there a double there? There is a double, but that sh the shooter would be lying, would be pretty pretty well exposed. Now, if they could possibly come in, catch the back, that maybe it would shoot. This would go off that way. This would go off that way. Deze double ligt er wel. You blijft hier wel half open liggen, zeker. Yeah, Bart's saying that's shocked. exactly what would happen. Yeah, be... No, he ligt niet shocked. Wel de dubbel? Met 
Dat is deze tijd. We kennen ook een... Kijk, op zich kan je best een draaier in de near house. Mocht hier van af zijn, dan is het ook goed. We komen in hier, you know, is there a double to come this way? That's going to be a bit harder. But possible, I think. Beide zijn goed, denk ik. Draw? Okay. All right, looking to try to draw it in behind, get something set up first. Just catches that okay, guard. Where is that going to roll off to? Catches the other one. All right. Well, that's going to be. What is that going to do for them? They're going to try to cover this up. I would say right on center line. Right, looking for the guard here. Gonna want, says he wants it on the center line. Try to take away that uh, hit to the left side and take away this run back. That's outside. The smidge outside. Hey, Gonna tap off the red, tap the yellow. Oof. Yeah. What do they do with this one? Not sure there's a Easy shot here. If they get on the left side of the nose, come up here. That will tish that away. Here, let's try with the overhead. That might look better. Yeah, come up on this. Push that to there. Maybe end up shooting over here. Yeah. Dan misschien een haartje krappen. Op zich als we hem, als we hem rechts raken is het geen ramp. Iets aan de kant. Bit heavy. There starts to fall. Oh, and is that going to catch too much on the nose and shoves it straight through again? How is that possible? Oh my! I would say we need to go in right Oh, here they just find the, the gap. What? Oh, it just it is not. I don't. I don't know how they find that line three times in the same end. I think we get to need to get close to the house. But even if we are here, it's fine because he never get a shot of the yellow again. Yeah, let's play the guard. I think we need to be here. Yep. Smart play here. Looking to uh, looking to cover it up. <laughs> Not even the same game. It's the same end. This has all happened in this end. This is a that's that's a, it's incredible. <laughs> yeah, Adamski, exactly right. The gap of horror. So. Cologne in a super strong position here. Just needs to guard over. They've got the hammer, so 
but they're already sitting three. Lots of things to cover up, uh, uh, lots of coverage up there, so really not many, not many gaps for for Cologne to, or Schopkes to put something in. Trying to get this one to curl over. They want to make sure that that yellow is covered. Nope, we can't see it that angle. We see it there. Does get over the top of the yellow. But is there something for for Shropkas to go into? That's a mock look. I think they have to play the tap back. I, I think they have to play this okay. this, this tap and get it to there. They have to go through the gap of horror. I, I don't envy this one, especially having two, two go through there already. Is he playing hack weight? I hope I didn't hear that right. Oh no, oops. There's uh, something going on on the sheet next to it. I think somebody's fallen, so everybody's just checking to make sure he's okay. Definite standing up, so it seems to be all right. Bumped his head on the eyes. We see no blood. He's smiling. Going to have a lump, but everything is all right. That gotta have the weight. Oh, and he gets it! He gets it! Third time's the charm. Fantastic stone there from Bart. Yeah, yeah. And and as somebody just said in here, Shrubka or uh, Kepkul has a stone. So now they have to figure out what to do. Can they do it just a tap back as well? So what two are we playing with speed? <laughs> peel right, right on the... Yeah, we, can peel, we can play peel right on the stone. Yeah, then give me right on the stone. Yeah, they've got to look at... I think this is their only option. They have to do the same. They have to push this back and they need to make sure it's hard enough and on the right line. Oops. Uh, all right. All comes down to this final stone. Tie four to four. Amazing shot from, from Bart. And now Jonas needs to do something equally as good to get this one to move and sit and score to win this match. Stone is on the way. Calling hard for sweep. Yes. And he gets it. He gets the response. What a shot. What a finish. Coming down to the final final stone. Looks like it was four. A score of four for Cologne. But in the end, that doesn't matter. An amazing, amazing shot. Both stones, both teams playing super, super well in that last one. 
That was that was great. Yeah, Tim, that did leave it lined up, and obviously we just see see that. You know, uh, uh, Tomsky, thank you, thank you for the for the compliments, you guys. Glad you guys topped in and, and hung out and watched this match. I'm glad you were treated to something really good. You know, these are the matches we love. Get it coming down to the final stone. We're gonna uh, let's pop over to me. We can uh, I can do the wrap up here. Wow, that was a great way to start a Saturday morning. No, uh, you know. A little bit slow in those first few ends, but both teams just kind of taking it back and forth, getting back into it. You know, the, the, the seventh end getting the, or sorry, the sixth end, Bart getting that amazing double to, to get the score, the three to tie things up. The blank in the seventh to keep the hammer. Bart with the great shot to tap it through, and then and Jonas with the follow-up. I mean, I've got plenty of shots clicked now. We're going to get some good highlights out of this. This has been a fantastic way to start the, start the Saturday. Unfortunately, it's also a way to end the Saturday. Uh, no more matches today. No more broadcasts today. Uh, but we do have three coming up tomorrow. We'll be seeing uh, the Huskies against Team Reese. Owen, I know you're going to be. We're going to be looking forward to seeing you. Uh, you guys always bring the fans. Looking forward to seeing the new look Huskies on the ice. Uh, then we'll have Ramstein take against Jakob Juk, another one of our German teams coming out. James was in here earlier. Um, and and then we've got a League A matchup between our, our League A Titans, Team Vareka, the, the defending champions, the national team going against the, uh, the young up-and-comers, desperate housekeepers. Always an exciting match. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I'll be again solo here. We'll be right here on Curtia 2. Maybe if James is in between matches, we'll get him to pop in and help me out on this. Maybe I'll get a guest commentator or two from uh, some people not playing. Uh, always a lot of fun to have somebody get the get, get other opinions coming in. So thank you guys, everybody, for, for, for watching. Uh, we're going to wrap it up there. We're going to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, do all of these things, do all the social media stuff. You, you guys know it by now. Uh, and so I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.